What did she say? She called you to today, coincidentally? I think this has got to be their bird. Oh my god. Hello? I found him on Thursday. Last week? Yeah. Where? Chatsworth, I told you. That's why uh -huh. I didn't know if you were messing with me. So tell me what happened. So this lady because in her husband flew to Africa, right? Yeah. This guy loves the bird. He always comes here, spies stories. He's not exciting talking about his bird. Okay. Her wife, she came in and she said that she loves him. Her husband just flew to Africa. Yeah. And she came home and I guess she left the door open of the cage and when she came home the bird was gone. What? What? A, did she also leave the door of the house open? Like, I don't know no, how... No, the, the thing is the bird, this cage, is outdoors. I think this has got to be their bird. Has he ever told you anything the bird says? Not that I will remember. Mm. How did she, she not leave her information? I was trying to tell her, I need a sign. Bring me a sign with the phone number. It just has to be her bird because they're, yeah, they're lost at the same time and found in the same place. Guys, Felipe might have new information. If he tells me that this bird says, let's go Raiders. We think he said, let's go Raiders. Let's go, right? Oh, let's go Raiders. Oh, let's go Raiders. Let's go. Yeah. Then this is the bird. Hello. Felipe? Yeah. What what does the bird say? I have you on. Go Raiders. Who told you that? The lady. Yeah, the bird says go Raiders. That's the one? Yep, it's the one. <laughs> All right, she's going to be so happy. What did she say? She called you to today, coincidentally? No, 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 I was looking in the books and everything because I know I took her, her number for a cage or something. Oh my god, fantastic. I called her and I was like, uh, is there anything that the bird says a lot? And she was like, yeah, go Raiders. And she barks like a dog. Yep. Oh, I'm so glad. Me too. So I'll just give her your number then. Okay, give her my number and then uh, the problem is I'm not going to be at home. Is that okay? <laughs> Tell her to text me and then I'll, I'll call, find a way to call her and talk to her. No problem. This uh -huh. is amazing. She can okay. call me right it? now if she wants. I'm here. All right. Okay. Cool. Have okay. a good trip. You too. Oh, All right. Okay, bye. Oh my god. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I found the bird's owner. Oh, cool. Isn't that exciting? Cool. I contacted Felipe on Instagram and I said, hey, do you know anyone that lost a gray? And he's like, some lady came in last week. I go, where does she live? He goes, Chatsworth. I go, that's got to be her bird. And then he said that it's like her husband's bird. And her husband got on a flight to South Africa or Africa. The moment she came back, the bird was lost. She didn't know what to do. She didn't even leave her number or anything and he remembered that one day she bought a cage from him and then she he started looking it up and calling people until he got the right person wow and then he said does your bird say anything specific and she goes yeah he says let's go Raiders no way yeah and she said he has a blo broken claw which he has like a broken like foot yeah, what's happening now? Uh, she's gonna call me. How does it feel? You don't even know, and I just like, turn around and turn a camera on you all the time. I thought you were gonna say like, oh my God, like how do you even like find an impossible burger in the middle of like this airport, Let's especially in Texas? I actually searched, I really did. I searched around, I went everywhere. I literally went to the other side of this like airport. Well, I don't think that's relative to the story I'm telling right now. I don't know, it just feels like it is. Because you have a camera on me and I was thinking that that's why you're putting the, because you just finished eating, you know? So you were like, Marlene turned on the camera, not to discuss anything about Paris. She turned on the camera to discuss that in the middle of the airport in Texas, you found me a gluten-free vegan burger. Yes. Also, I'm your hero because you were starving and didn't eat and other, you know? What's the news? Oh, wait. Don't tell me you found a, a home for... You found the owner of the... I didn't find a home. I found the bird's owner. How? Could you be more excited? No. I mean, yes, it's great for him. <laughs> but I really liked him. He's cool, you know? Like, 
It makes me want to like watch the Raiders. Where'd you find him? Felipe helped me find him. <laughs> Under a rock. So what's going on? How is he gonna, what, we're not even gonna see him go away? They're gonna give visitation rights. No, I haven't spoken to her yet. Uh-oh. How much you bet this is her? Who is this? Hold on, hold on. Hello? Hi. Yeah, this is Merlene. How are you? So you have my little girl and she's okay and she says, Go Raiders! Go Raiders! Yes, I definitely do. Oh my god. Definitely gonna be very upset that this vlog is gonna go up of me looking like this. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I am going to Marlene's house right now because I'm gonna go meet Lynn. She is the owner of the African Grey Bird that we found. And the African Grey Bird's name is actually Whisper, which is you know, very cute. I have Harry here knocking around all over. I'm in a rush because we said we'd meet at 9.30 and she just called me and she got to Marlene's house at 9.11. It's currently 9.16. People being early is the worst thing for someone who's usually like nine. If you say 9.30, I'm gonna be there at 9.30. I'm Maybe I'll be there at 9.25. Definitely, most likely, I'll be there at 9.35. I was gonna put on eyebrows and mascara and be like, oh, here's a nice, like, little vlog, but now I'm not. Yeah, we'll see what happens. This is probably gonna be the last time you see my face. Oh, look at you, Judy. Yeah, it's my bag, Harry. Oh, stretch, are you ready to get some cutting? Okay, your crest is all there. You're beautiful. Oh, wiggle, wiggle. We're gonna take a poop. Wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, we know you. Wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, yeah we were singing, and he and she danced like that. Yeah, she danced. Yeah, Stop dancing. You clap your hands. You can talk. Yeah. Aww, she's so excited to see you. Oh, uh, let me grab her her cage, and then we'll see if she'll come right out to it. Should I? I'm gonna open it then. Yes, you too. Yes, I did. Oh, she went right up there. Oh, yeah, she knows. Mama knows that she doesn't like to get up, but she likes to come so high. Oh. Can I sit her right there? Yeah, go ahead. Oh my. oh, my God, this must feel so good for you. Grandma's going to be so happy to see you. Oh, she is. Yeah, the sweetest African gray. bad no no but she's clumsy she you know if that's all you were talking about she possibly could have done that to herself oh okay she's not a very good flyer Aww. she walks humped you can see her one broken paw which one was that i didn't notice well it's this one right here see how this doesn't bend oh i see, see i wouldn't that have one, the rest of them bend but the, see that claw doesn't i wouldn't have noticed if you didn't this. say anything so, well you know how i usually have to pick Oh, I need to. Well, she she'll go on the ground for a second, and I'll put it Who's a good girl? Even the vet was like, "No, nah, no, nah, she could step up." I'm like, "No, I promise you, she can't step up." And he tried, and she wouldn't step up to him. <laughs> and I was like, "I told you." No, but you know what? I don't push her. No, she shouldn't. She's so sweet. Yeah, she's really sweet. She must be so excited to see you. Who's your favorite team? Oh. Oh. I can't believe how affectionate she is. Go home and take a shower. Yeah, yeah. go home and take a shower. <laughs> she takes showers all the time. Yeah. You're gonna have to get in the cage. Excited to go home? See, I use this cage. I sit it next to my bed for her to sit next to the bed. Oh, that's so she sweet. She sits on top of it, you know, and just stays there overnight. Oh yeah, I know. Are you gonna excited. go home? <laughs> no wonder your name is Whisper. She's so talkative because I feel like African Greys don't talk in front of new people. Oh. They keep it all quiet uh -huh. and they like don't say anything until they get to know you and they see you a couple of times. Yeah. But she's just like a superstar. Yeah, she likes to talk and she loves the Raiders because she gets all her attention. Oh my God. 
I'm whispering a little bit because I don't want Jersey to scream again. But this lady made us gifts ba gift baskets, one for me and one for Marlene. She's super sweet. Like, I, honestly, I don't, one's like a lavender and one's like a rose. She's super, super sweet. I cannot believe she did this. I, she was like, you didn't ask for a reward or anything. And I was like, of course not. We're bird lovers. Like, we're just way more excited that you're getting united with your bird. She climbed into her cage right away on top of it of course we put her here you saw a little bit of that i took harry out of the room and she put her on the put the cage on the floor to see if like the bird will naturally go in it like walk and go around in it but it didn't work so she like gently took a blanket like a soft light beautiful blue blanket kind of just like put it next to her so she could like slowly go in and that worked and then she's really excited and she was like dancing outside she was barking in the cage she was like shaking her head she was like waving oh it was so cute you. Obviously, I'm filming this on my iPhone and I'm not a vlogger, so I felt weird like having her do these things. So this is probably the worst vlog, but that's that. Um, I hope this brings us some sort of good karma and one day Picasso comes back, you know what I mean? Or something like that. I don't know. Just wish this could have happened for us and Picasso, but that's okay. We did a good deed and that's all that matters. And an African Grey and the owner are reunited. Mission to get bird back home is a success. I wish every time we found a bird that this was a success, like this happens. I hope no one ever loses their bird, but if they did lose their bird, I hope they get reunited. Woo! And someone who's a bird lover knows how, like finds the bird and gives it back because then they don't need a reward. They don't want a reward. They know the love and the bond between a human and a bird. You know what I mean? Anyway, covering my face because it ain't cute as you saw in the beginning. Bye-bye, sniffers.